As Jesus spoke to his disciples for the last time, he explained that he would be taken from them to suffer and die. He warned them that the events about to happen would be so painful and so frightening that they would all run away and leave him to face these horrible things all alone. Peter, who had once claimed that Jesus was the Messiah, argued, Though the rest of them fall away, I will never leave you. But Jesus knew better. The truth is, Jesus said, you will deny me three times before the rooster crows in the morning. Just as Jesus said it would, the night turned to terror as he was taken away. Peter, trying to follow Jesus at a distance, crouched in the shadows to hide near a warm fire. A young girl looked in his direction and asked, Weren't you with Jesus? Peter responded harshly, I don't know what you mean. Peter quickly got up and rushed away. Later that night, another servant girl recognized Peter and announced, This man was indeed with Jesus. Peter denied it and said, I don't know the man. Another person standing nearby insisted, You are one of them. I recognize your accent. Peter, becoming more and more upset, cried out, Let me be cursed if I am lying to you. I do not know who you're talking about. When these words left his mouth, the rooster crowed. Remembering what Jesus had said, Peter began to cry bitter tears of hurt and regret. After the death of Jesus, the disciples were lost and confused about what to do. Peter was tired of sitting around feeling guilty, so he decided to do something he was good at, fishing. Peter told the others of his plan, and some of them decided to join his fishing trip. They fished through the night, but they caught nothing. Early in the morning, exhausted and disappointed, they finally gave up and headed back toward the shore. They rowed toward land, and as the morning light was just appearing, the disciples could barely make out what looked like a man standing on the shore. The mysterious figure called to them, Children, did you catch any fish? Puzzled, they answered the stranger, No. The man then said, Cast the net off the right side of the boat, and then you'll catch something. Shrugging their shoulders, the disciples did as the stranger suggested. The nets filled with so many fish, the men could not pull them all in. One of the disciples recognized who had been talking to them, and he cried out, It's the Lord! Peter was so excited, he jumped out of the boat, diving into the water to reach him. Once all the disciples made it to the shore, Jesus invited them to join him by the fire for a breakfast of fish. They talked and laughed together like they had done so many times before, except now the fellowship was much sweeter. Their hero and master had defeated death, and he was back to share the victory. When they had all finished eating, Jesus turned to Peter and asked him, Do you love me? Peter replied, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus asked again, Do you love me? Peter replied the same, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. When Jesus asked Peter a third time if he loved him, a feeling of sadness washed over Peter. He had failed in his love before when he denied Jesus. What could he say now that would prove any different? But he did love Jesus, so he responded, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus' death on the cross had shown Peter what sacrificial love looked like. Peter knew now that his life was not his own, but that it had been bought with a price. Peter was transformed. Knowing he was ready to love fully, Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep and follow me.